it's, uh, it's year two for you in Boulder. Um, do you feel more comfortable? Yes, I do. I feel a lot more comfortable and excited about the, the path that we're headed on. And, um, you know, we've got all the new facilities being built right. and the, the players are getting bigger and stronger, so I uh, feel good about it. It's talking to Judah about those facilities. How, how important is that for your program? I think it's extremely important. It, it shows that we're committed, shows that we're trying to be the best that we can be. And so it's exciting for the future of our program. What uh, do you think has changed most in the past year? Where have you guys made the biggest strides? Well, I think culturally within our program, our, our guys are, I feel, are more committed. They understand it's a 24-7, 365 day a year mentality they have to have. And I think that they understand that. And I believe they feel like they can step out there and play with anyone and beat anyone. What and I think that's a <laughs> culture change. Yeah, what is your, uh, what is your culture? What, what is, uh, that aside, uh, Beyond football, I was talking to Judah a little bit about it, but I'd like you to describe what, what culture you try to bring to the program. Well, we want the young men to be uncommon young men. We want them to do what's uncommon. You know, it's common to skip class. It's common to skip on a workout. It, you know, all those type of things. Be uncommon. Do everything to its excellence. Do everything to its best. And then also, the other thing we always talk about is, you know, put others first. Don't just be a me person. It's kind of a me generation a little bit. Right. Make sure in a Football is the ultimate team sport. It's the only sport where 75 people stand on the sidelines and 11 play. Right. So you have to realize that you got to put others first. And when you do that, great things can be accomplished. You guys are coming to Austin Stadium this year. Yeah. Have you ever coached in Austin? No, I haven't. Seen it on television. Looks loud. <laughs> yeah. It, it, uh, it is. What What is challenging about coaching against Oregon? They've obviously had so much success the past year. Right. I, I think, you know, number one, they're very well coached. Number two, the kids have a lot of confidence because they've had so much success. Sure. And I think number three, they're, you know, they're very athletic. Um, and, uh, of course, they have an unbelievable quarterback that makes things happen. And when you have a great quarterback, it's hard to beat a football team like that. So uh, we've got to find a way to, to stop them and, and, and get a way to get out of there with a W. What is so good about Marcus Mariota? Well, he's able to do everything. Yeah. He's really good at everything. He's an accurate passer. He can throw the deep ball, too. When the play breaks down, he can make a play. They can design runs for him. And he also uses his brain really well. He sees defenses and is able to get the ball to the right places, make the right checks. Um, so I'm very impressed with him. For Colorado to get back to where it was, uh, you know, in its heyday as a national championship football team, what, what needs to happen? We need to just keep the process going. We need to keep increasing everything like we're doing. We're increasing the facilities. Um, our recruiting is getting better and better. Our young men are getting more and more committed. The university's behind it. The community's behind it. It's a process. You can't just flick the light on or anybody can do it. We're in the process of doing that. And it, it'll happen. And, uh, you know, of course, we all want it to happen tomorrow, but it will happen sooner or later. Cool. Uh, any, any, uh, with the new law, the marijuana laws in Colorado, uh -huh. do you have to talk to your players about that? Is that, uh, is that presented challenges to you guys? Uh, well, it's not really a challenge. Um, number one, it's against NCAA rules. Right. So if you get tested, you're sit down for a year. Right. Um, number two, it's illegal on our campus because it's a federal law because we're a, a drug-free campus. Okay. And you have to be over 21 for any of that type of situation to come out. So most of my kids are underneath that. So. Right. It's not really a big issue. I do get asked about it every once in a while, yeah. um, but uh, it, it's um, it's been a good thing. Um, we have, I mean, it's been a thing that we haven't had to really yeah. um, battle too much. Is that is that a distraction at all? I mean, imagine I was watching uh, some random show on TV last night, and it was in the hotel room, and they were in Denver, and they were, every, you know, it was all about that. And it yeah, seems like it's more prevalent. I mean, is it is it a distraction at all? Just living in Boulder in that atmosphere? Uh, no, it's not. It's not that prevalent. I okay. mean, it really is. Yeah. It's not like you walk down the street and all you know, right, the, no. the, the show you probably showed was like that the 420 thing they do in April in Denver every year. Okay, it's yeah, a yeah. big kind right. of thing. So um, I think it's you know it's a thing that the media likes to run with a little bit, yeah. but I don't think it's as um, out there on the forefront as yeah. everybody thinks it is. Cool. Thanks, Mike. All right, thank you. Good to meet you. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for the time.